Ever wondered what controls the functions of a cell? What makes a cell divide, grow, and perform its specific duties? Well, the answer lies in a unique component of the cell known as the nucleus. The nucleus, often referred to as the command center of the cell, governs the cell's activities, much like a brain. However, unlike a brain, it's not made of neurons, but a double membrane structure. This double membrane, also known as the nuclear envelope, acts as a barrier, protecting the precious contents within the cell's genetic material. Now, imagine the nuclear envelope as a fortress wall with guarded gateways. These gateways, or nuclear pores, are selective in what they allow to pass through. They control the flow of substances in and out of the nucleus, maintaining a delicate balance within the cell. But what's so precious inside this fortress? Well, it's the genetic material, the blueprints of life. This material comes in the form of chromosomes made up of deoxyribonucleic acid, more commonly known as DNA. The DNA is like a recipe book containing instructions for all the proteins that our bodies need to function. This genetic material is the reason why we have traits from our parents, why a rose smells like a rose, and why a tree grows tall. It's not just about inheritance, though. The DNA within the nucleus also controls cell division, directing when and how the cell should divide. It's like a maestro, conducting the symphony of cell growth and reproduction. But not all cells have a nucleus. Prokaryotic cells, like bacteria, lack a well-defined nucleus. Instead, their DNA floats freely in a region known as the nucleoid. This is a key difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes, which have a well-defined nucleus. So, to sum it up, the nucleus, with its double membrane structure and nuclear pores, safeguards the cell's genetic material. It is the conductor of the cell, directing the symphony of cellular functions from growth and division to protein synthesis. Whether in a human, a rose, or a tree, the nucleus plays a crucial role in life as we know it. So next time you see a blooming flower or a towering tree, remember the tiny yet mighty nucleus working tirelessly within each cell, directing the symphony of life.